In this lesson, we'll cover understanding ceiling plans, view range. So you may say, well, what does a view range have to do with a ceiling plan? Well, it controls what you can see above the ceiling and below the ceiling. So how do we view this? Well, to view the properties of a view range, make sure nothing is selected. So on the left in the property box, we're looking at the properties of the ceiling plan. Then in the property area, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see an entry for view range. Click Edit to the right of View Range. Now this is very similar to floor plans. You have the three primary ranges, top, cut, and bottom, and you also have the view depth. But they work a little differently for a ceiling plan than they do with a floor plan. The top level is just what it says. Even though we're looking up in this case, how far above the current level do we want to be able to look up and see elements? So the level of the plan that I'm looking at right now in my model is the entry level, level one. Now it's saying the top range is to look above level one up to level two or floor two. But don't go beyond that because the offset is set at zero. Now the cut plane is actually where you would visually see below that higher level. So right now it's saying above level one, my cut plane is seven foot six inches. Now in architecture, that could be placed above your door and window headers. So you don't see the openings for the door and the windows when you're looking at the ceiling plan. So that would be the lowest level or lowest figure down below the top that you would actually be able to see. So you're starting to view things above level one at seven feet six, and then from there up to level two is everything you view. Now the bottom level is irrelevant because you're looking up, not down. So the bottom level is really whatever the cut plane is when you're looking at a ceiling plan. Now the one that's a little different is the view depth. Now even though it says depth, you're inverted as far as what we're looking at. We're looking up at the ceiling, so we're looking away from us. So the depth is that depth of how we look away from us looking up. So right now the level is set for level two above us, and it's set at zero feet for the offset. But if I were to change this to two feet to three feet, what it does is it means it allows you to look beyond level two. So I'm looking up in my model, so I can look at two feet above level two. And when I click apply, that would show me anything within the architectural or mechanical building or structural elements that sit above level two, two feet above that level or that floor. So it kind of works the way the floors do, but in a different sense that you're looking up, not looking down. Go ahead and click OK. So as a review, in this lesson, we looked at understanding ceiling plans view range. We talked about the four settings for view ranges for the ceiling plan. The primary three are the top, the cut, and the bottom, and then you have a view depth. For a ceiling plan, the top range is basically how high up you want to look when looking up at your ceiling. Usually that's set to the level above whatever the ceiling plan is being hosted on. So right now my ceiling plan is hosted to level one, so my top range is level two. Cut would mean where your cut plane sits below that top level. So right now I'm saying above the associated level, level one, my cut plane is seven foot six inches, meaning it's above the doors and windows so I don't see those openings in my ceiling plan. The bottom is irrelevant because the bottom setting is your cut plane. So in essence, you're looking at everything in the ceiling plan that sits above level one at seven foot six all the way up to level two. Now the view range or view depth is a little different for ceilings that it allows you to look when you're looking up above or beyond in depth level two. So I can go to the two feet, three feet above level two. It's saying depth, but think about when you're looking up, it's the depth of going away from you. So we looked at these four settings for the view range for ceilings and adjusted the view depth so we could actually see additional elements. All of this can be defined when looking at the properties of the view and editing the view range from the properties area on the left.